Breakthrough heart surgery carried out in Australia has changed what medical experts now deem possible. It's hoped the success of an Australian designed artificial heart will help solve an issue affecting tens of millions of people. Science and tech correspondent Breno Hallon explains. These are the final careful steps to achieve a monumental medical feat. Surgeons from Sydney's St Vincent's Hospital successfully implanted a total durable artificial heart. And in a world first, the recipient was able to wear it home. We threw everything at it and it just performed seamlessly and, um, and got him through to the point where he could leave the hospital, which is really quite incredible. The procedure took place in November and we can now reveal it went off without a hitch. The patient, a man in his 40s with severe heart failure, was waiting for a donor heart and used the artificial one for a record 100 days. That's pretty phenomenal and surreal. You can see it's a team of, of uh, you know, multidisciplinary team that's using engineers and, and clinicians to, to pull off um, something that's world changing has never been done before. And this is the tech at the heart of the story, a 650 gram device designed by Queenslander Dr Daniel Timms and developed through a Monash University program with the support of a $50 million federal government grant. It is externally controlled and uses magnetic levitation to replicate natural blood flow. That spinning disc is rotating inside this device um, at about 2,000 revolutions per minute, completely levitated by magnets, and so there's no mechanical wear at all there. An estimated 64 million people suffer from heart failure globally, but just 5,000 heart transplants are carried out each year. Bivacor aims to one day be a permanent fix. Heart transplantation does require anti-rejection drugs and uh, survival at 10 years is just 50% uh, and we're working as a mission to be able to, you know, have as many unlimited uh, heart transplants basically available. So having these types of technologies to assist uh, and give hope to families, this is going to be incredibly important and it is important. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.